This is the bone housing the eyeball. Do we eat this little sack of fluid? Do we eat that? Yes. Oh, <laughs> cool. Touring Asia's fish markets. It's one of the best ways to learn about the local food, discover new creatures, and get to know some of the fishy locals. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Yeah, the, <laughs> the fish, fish say hello. Yeah. Japan's fish markets have become iconic. A place where great deals of cash get passed around each day. Like this tuna selling for over $3 million in Japan's new Toyosu fish market. That's some premium tuna. These days, Japan has greatly restricted tourist access to these markets, and even shooting requires piles of permits. But lucky for me, I know a guy who knows a guy who knows a lady who has invited us to Tokyo's most famous seafood market of those that actually allow filming to take place. And they call it a dachi fish market. Today, we're on a mission to hunt down the most unique food we can find. Have you had whale meat before? Take it to a restaurant. Can you make this yummy? Yes. And cook it up. Oh, what is inside of here? So clap your fins together with salt watery joy. Today we're taking on Japan seafood markets. Good morning, everybody. It is just after 5 a.m. and we are here at a fish market in Tokyo, Japan, and I am with Kyoko. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Fish markets, like everywhere around the world, they start incredibly early, bringing in all this seafood. They start cutting it up and getting ready to ship it out to restaurants for people to eat that day. It's super fresh. We're gonna take a look around in this market and see what we can find. Let's go check them out. Adachi has been a wholesale market for restaurants and retailers operating in Kita Senju since 1945. There are numerous areas here, including the wholesale market where you can purchase everything from tuna to whale to whatever the heck this thing is. Oh, so as soon as he touches them, they just kind of contract their bodies so they're still alive. Can I do it? <laughs> Right here, we hit up the octopus section. These are like vinegar pickled octopus. We call it sudako. I just want to bite into it like an apple. Do you ever do that? Probably ah. not. Look at these. These are huge kind of snails. Take a look at this huge crustacean. Oh, oh it freaks me out. It looks like you I'm staying in here. So these are 2,000 each. By kilo. Oh, is that including the shell? I think so. Honestly, you don't even eat the shell. That's not fair. Hello, sir. What is your favorite way to prepare this? It's better to eat it raw. He recommends Aha! We have to buy one of these. Every seller has their spot and their specialty. Squid, shrimpies, this fish who refuses to make eye contact with me, and then something a bit controversial, whale bacon. First of all, I love all kinds of bacon. I've never had bacon from a whale. It's kind of a controversial topic because some people really don't like others eating the whales. What do you know about it? According to the news, we heard that um, it's only the research whaling ship is only capturing the certain amount of whales, but then rather than spoiling the meat, so they make it in a bacon. What kind of research do you think they're doing? I don't know, but I heard that 99% of the whale research is from Japan. But I also think 99% of the whale eating is from Japan too. <laughs> Have you had whale meat before? Yes, when you're in the elementary school day, you mm. actually do have a whale meat as a school meal, like 20, 30 years ago. It tastes like a chicken though. Oddly enough, the amount of research done on whales in Japan seems to coincide with the local appetite for whale meat, a trend that I hope will continue to lose momentum. As we continue around the market, there's one food that cannot be missed, Japan's beloved tuna. I noticed all of these have like a little carving in the ice. Do you know why that is? That's the mark that they successfully procure these tuna fish. How much for a piece like this? For one kilo is 1,500 yen, which was the bidding price. And this one is 31 kilos. So this tuna, for example, right here would cost around $460. Here we have a bit of a yellow fin tuna. Wow. He's going with the natural grain of the tuna. Then he curves the knife, bends the bullet around the spine, and he's carefully gonna follow that. And then there it is, a big tuna steak. I wanna put all that just on a little piece of rice, and can that be my sushi for today? So you can see 
See, this is the fatty layer. So, akami. Yeah, akami is like a lean tuna. And this is like a chew toro. Chew toro. It's like a medium fatty. And this is like a super fatty. Oh. I want to have a bite, but they won't let me eat in here. Right here, they're still getting like every little nook and cranny from the head. This is the cheek part of the tuna down here. Oh, that looks really good, very fat. And also the eyeball. Oh, check it out, we got a live demonstration. It's not just the eyeball, it's like the whole area around the eyeballs. It's so interesting to see all these different kinds of cuts. Oh, is it a gift? Yeah. Yeah, really? it's a gift for you. Can you tell them this is the first time I've ever been given eyeballs as a gift? <laughs> yeah, arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. <laughs> Giant snail? Check. Giant tuna eyeballs? Check. Now I just need someone to cook this up, but first, I am dying to sink my teeth into some of this tuna. This is still part of Adachi Fish Market, with some of the freshest fish you'll find anywhere, displayed beautifully in their kaisen dong and sliced tuna sashimi. We have a ton of food here. The first thing I really want to focus on is right here, the tuna. So when we were in the market, we got to see a couple different grades of tuna, the less fatty version and then the more fatty version. Is that more expensive? Yes, definitely. Very mm. expensive part. See, in the tuna world, your fat is desirable. I think we should start with the lean tuna. Give it a dip, soak up some of that soy sauce, a bit of wasabi. Here we go. Mmm, salty, soft, just a little taste of wasabi. Very delicious. But then here, you can see it's even almost breaking apart with these little layers with some of that fat in there. Give it a dip. Let's go for it. Oh, <laughs> cut that out. Mmm. You can kind of feel each section between these little layers of fat coming apart. It's quite firm compared to the other one. And then this is what we're here for today. Kaisen dong. Add rice to your bowl, then minced tuna, fried egg, black clam, a shrimpy, a crab claw, more tuna, abalone, more sashimi, puffer fish skin, red clam, wasabi, salmon eggs, and sea urchin. A tsunami of flavor all in one bowl. How do you attack this? Dissolve the wasabi, pour it over. Oh yeah, that looks good. This has got to be the world's tiniest, cutest abalone right here. Mmm, nice firm texture. Couple grains of sand so you know it's fresh. Really wonderful flavor. The last thing I'm super interested in is the skin of that poisonous fugu fish. Here we go. Little crunchy, no real strong flavor or anything, just kind of like nice crunchy texture. If you didn't tell me that was fugu, I just think it was some kind of random crunchy fish. So from here, do people kind of mix this all up? Like a yeah. little bit of tuna, yeah. little rice, some egg. That looks like a nice bite. And these are big, plump, juicy salmon roe. Try it out. Mmm. Those little eggs just mm -hmm. explode in your mouth. This one is the red clam that we saw in the market. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna get a bite. We got a little bit of rice, a little bit of roe, and then we have the red clam right here. Mmm. Firm, chewy. I love it. It's kind of like they put the whole market into one bowl. What you gonna do with all that cash? With Kyoko's thorough seafood introduction, I am now confident enough to take on this giant snail and these fish eyes on my own here at La Tartaru Dina. It's a pretty unique situation. We got connected with the chef here. This is actually a Japanese Italian restaurant. I have no idea how they're gonna cook it up. I think they're gonna make me eat it raw and I'm looking forward to it. Let's go in. I got... I got a present. This is a tiny Italian restaurant tucked away in one of Tokyo's back alleys. And the kind chef has offered to go way off menu and cook up whatever is inside this mystery box. Right now, I am in this charming narrow kitchen with my dude Yoshiaki. Can I shake your hand? Nice man? to meet you. Thank you so much. I have a gift. Okay. And I'm gonna reveal to you. This is like Iron Chef right now. Here we go. Wow. Do you know this one? Oh, I think so, fishy eye? Yeah, fish eye. Fish. Can you make this yummy? Yes, very yeah. yummy. Also, we have a huge oh, snail. No. Very That's big. Really big, right? I wanna eat this, I wanna eat this, and uh, I need your help. I think we learned already from the tuna head episode, tuna head prep can be super simple. Here he just adds a bit of salt, then sautés it in oil. I've never seen anything like this. Listen, this is tuna eye ASMR. 
Oh, it's a little, <laughs> okay, there's a little fire on my hand there. When it turns a golden brown, it gets roasted in the oven for about 10 minutes. Now moving on to the snail. First, with smooth precision, break the shell and take the snail from its home. There it is. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, that is the biggest snail Very I've big. ever seen in my life. It weighs like half a pound. I've never seen one this big. And. The smell is, it is very briny and kind of oceanic. It smells like Poseidon's armpits. Remove the poopy part, wash the head part. Then carefully cut it into slices and put it back in the shell because dang it, we are food artists here. Now, back to the eyeball. Oh, wow. it's actually looking nice and kind of caramelized, sizzling on the outside. One eye and two oh. eyes, and that's ready to eat. This is the wonder of Japan. Take a look at this. I love this presentation. I can see the meat already. It looks super firm. I think it's gonna be a little bit chewy, but in a good way. A little bit of soy sauce. Let's try it out. Oh, I thought it was gonna be chewy. It is just completely crunchy. No strong seafoody flavor, just a nice salt from the soy sauce bringing out the natural flavor. It's like really fresh. It's kind of addictive. Mmm, that one's a little soft. Every bite's a little different. And then it got hard again. Really fun, just fresh, clean flavor, and then a completely different texture with each bite. That would go really well with some beer or uh, some Italian wine. There's an old saying in Japan, and it goes, a tuna has two eyes, and a friendship requires two people. And if you're gonna eat tuna eyes for the first time, you should eat it with the guy who made it. Oh, hey, can you help me eat this? <laughs> Where do we start? Do we eat everything? There's some meat on the side. Oh, it's super fatty. Look at this. It's actually a little crispy on the outside. Oily, fatty. Oh, that's a big fatty bite, bro. What? Really oily. A little bit chewy meat around the eye. You like the oil? Mm, okay. If you don't like oily, greasy food, you will not like this. But I like it for how simple it is, man. You just put yeah, only salt. Only salt. Genius. <laughs> Thank you. Now everyone's dying to know, do we eat this little sack of fluid? Do we eat that? Yes. Oh, <laughs> cool. You know what? I'm banding up and I'm doing it. Guys, I don't try to be judgmental of food at all, but this is a little scary for me. So you're just gonna... Like that? Okay. okay, here we go. One, two, three. Hmm. Are you okay? Mm hmm. <laughs> Delicious. Mmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Same flavor as the outside. Just oily, rich tuna flavor. But the texture, you could really feel this like sack of fluid in my mouth. I could feel it. Could you feel it? Do you like that feeling? Blue, 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 like fatty. Jelly, yeah. jelly. You like that jelly yeah. feeling? Yes. You like it? For me, that would take a lot of getting used to. That Just the texture. The taste is wonderful. Man, thank you. Thank you. Boom, boom, out. Every time I start to think I understand Japan, some spiky haired chef tells me to eat a giant glaucoma looking tuna eye. The food culture here seems endless, but through fish markets, pricey wagyu, juicy street food, ramen with ramen expert Frank, mystery meats like raw horse and shark heart, I've slowly begun wrapping my head around this place one bite at a time. So be sure to watch the entire eight video series in case you missed one. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I want to give a huge shout out and a thank you to Tokyo buy food. They are the ones who made this whole foodie adventure here in Japan possible. Tokyo buy food is putting on over 85 tours in Tokyo right now. Next year, they'll be in more cities. Beyond that, for each person who makes a reservation, they feed 10 people in Cambodia. It's a win-win for everybody. Also for you guys, if you are going to Vietnam anytime soon, let me highly recommend a company called One Trip. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south in all major cities, including Hanoi, Nha Chang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon. You can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. A peace. peace. Hey, can we put tuna eyes on pizza? Tuna eye pizza? Yeah, tuna eye pizza. It's okay? Okay. Okay, let's go make it. <laughs> Everything is alright.